Hey everybody, it's Chicken Connor. Welcome, welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last part, we got to the Booze Mansion. We just finished getting the weight from that puzzle. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what this weight does right here. Simply just get onto this chandelier you can pull down before, and now this time when you stop moving, use the weight. Simple, simple. As our all in Pokemon Stadium 2 would say, very, very simple. Alright, let's go ahead and open this. Let's see what's in this. <laughs> that was close! Okay. Anyway, let's go down. Downstairs, come on, into the basement. Come on! Let me see here. Alright, doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stuff here. Anything on top of these no invisible blocks? No invisible blocks, seriously? None? There's gotta be a secret in this room somewhere. Maybe later. Maybe later we can get to it. Because Paper Mario just doesn't have useless rooms like that. A large box. What is in here? More ghosts! Big surprise! But what did that one ghost have? Mario! Just like an YouTube poop. Welcome! If you want these boots, you must guess who holds them. Sweet, a jump upgrade. Lady Bell will be very angry if you let him get them too easily, fellow booze. Do your best, like we practiced. And now they're gonna throw them to one another, and you gotta watch which one of them has them. It's not all that hard. They go in close together to try to fool you. And I'm not even gonna pay attention to what he says, because I don't want to mess it up. And whoop. Bye! You got the super boots! The attack power of Mario's jump increases! And now you can do the spin jump by pressing A again while in the air. Yeah, yeah, boo-hoo, go ahead and take him. Yep, Lady Bow's really gonna flip on you. Heh, <laughs> get it? Paper? Flip? You got cells. You stay behind. What's your deal? Hmm. Says there is a hidden star panel below floor two units. Ah, it seems by doing that spin jump in the air, we can get star pieces hidden under floor panels. The only way to find out where they are is by doing this. There's also a badge for it later on in the game, though, but we don't have that badge yet, though, so screw it for now. Let's go ahead and pow! You can now go through those uh, little uh, things of wood in the ground you couldn't do before. Hey, what's this? A switch. What, ha what happens if we press it? Oh, another switch. What happens if we press this? Ah! Well, it's like Mario 64 size. Our super hammer doesn't do anything, but we just got a new upgrade, and what do the rules of Metroid say? It applies in this game, too. When you get a new item, use it like crazy. That was cool. What have you got to tell us? Hey, look, a shop. Can I buy anything? What a chip. The depot told me not to sell any items to Mario. You're him. Oh, and we have life shrooms down here, and snowman dolls, and mysteries. I love all those items. Stopwatches. So many cool items. So many beautiful items in Jello Pudding Pop. Oh, where? There's got to be a star panel here somewhere, can't there? And eh, never mind. I'm not gonna go around looking for star panels. It's gonna take way up. It's gonna take way too much time. God. Couldn't you blast away this wall? I forget. Yes, you could. I have an excellent memory. That was so weird, I just randomly was thinking, can't you blast away this wall, and then I just did it? <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. I didn't think you could actually do that from this side, though. I thought you could only do it from the other side, though, but apparently you can. That's a room you're not supposed to be in yet, though, so it doesn't matter. If we open this again, does it do anything different? No! It does not. Okay. Now, what am I doing going, no, like a pansy? I should be going, no, like a manly man, like the manly man I am. Okay, whatever. Down. Hey, Mario just glitched back up onto the ledge right there. That was weird. Anyway, we have a gap right here that we cannot cross. What do we use for that? But, Harakari. We have a boost portrait. A portrait of an old male boo. Yeah, if it was female, it'd be kind of disturbing. And I'm gonna guess that I missed some invisible block up there that I don't know about, though. That's just a guess. I know I'm probably gonna get comments about it and everything saying, Oh my god, he missed that! <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. 
Actually, if you guys do tell me stuff that I miss, like, right as soon as, like, I post it, if I'm, like, not too far ahead of pre-recording, I will go back and get it, like I did that one time. Because I gotta be honest, even though I, excuse my language here, even though I do know my shit about Paper Mario, it's not nearly as much as I do about the uh, other games, because I've played those games to death. Let's see. Use it on this picture, use that portrait on this picture frame. Phew, alas, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. But I didn't even tell you to go find the drawing. You solved the riddle on your own. Yes, actually, if you come here and talk to him the first time, he'll, the frame will tell you that it's lonely. Are you just lucky or what? Wait, hey, hey. Maybe it's just a coincidence, or maybe that it's that I've played this game through about five times. In any case, you managed to stumble on the secret at the up to the way to the upper floor. Dump, jump toward the drawing, and I'll take care of the rest. You've earned your way up to the third floor. Jump inside the painting. Wow, what game does that sound like? Say hello to Bo for me. Here we are on the third floor. Let's go. I love this room. I love this song too. You finally arrived. You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing you to see if you'd live up to your reputation. How are the tests? Tough? Eh, not really. Actually, kind of fun. Here is the most awesome character of awesome. My name is Bo. I'm glad to finally meet you. I'm Butler, the butler. It looks like Batman's butler now that I look at him more. I'm Lady Bo's humble servant. The reason I asked you here is that I need a favor. Butler, give him the rundown. She's got smoke. I like smoke. Of course, my lady. Mario, you do know the area near here called Gusty Gulch. The hill resides at the top of the gulch, and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster, and he eats us, ghosts. Booze are his favorite food. Many friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us booze to slow him down even slightly. Wow, he kills ghosts. God, I don't like Chuck Norris to do that. He seems invincible. That's why he's been known as the Invincible Tubba Blubba. There is hope, however. If rumors are true, the tub of Blubba has a secret he pretty closely guards. And that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So he does have a weak point. So, Mario, I want you to find out his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, won't you? Of course you'll get a reward for doing us this service. And what might that be? If you beat up Tubba Blubba, I'll let you have this. What is it? What is this? The good guys are capturing the star spirits now? M Mario, I'm sorry we must be on such a dire situation. My name is Scholar. I escaped from Tom Blubba's castle, but I was in a way we can stay, but I made it outside as a result. I couldn't go back to the sky first. I tried to hunt for shooting star seven to make the lead to star even. Leave of faith! But became lost in the forest. While hunting for a way out, I was captured by Boos, and now here I am. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not much such a bad deal, is it? You would have to fight Tubba Blubba to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? This will help us boost too. Besides, I'm going with you. I'll help let you like no one else can. My lady, what did you say just now? You at Tubba Blubba's castle? Quite out of the question. I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Still your tongue, Bootler. I've seen too much suffering caused by Tubba Blubba. I wish to see him punished by boom two eyes. Or dots is more likely. Besides, Mario will need me. There's no way he can reach the castle without my powers. Oh, alas. Then, lady, I, Bootler, will accompany you. Sweet, two party members, the price of one. It is my sword here to see that no harm behalf falls you. The ancestors demand it. You have ancestors that are also ghosts? I will beat your side over. Wait, 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 wait. If ancestors are, you know, you're dead you know, relatives from hundreds of years ago. How can you possibly have dead relatives if you're a ghost and you're already dead? Never mind. You stop that nonsense. God, I love her mouth moving right there. I'm not a child anymore. I'll be fine by myself. You wait here for my return. Look, lady. <sighs> Sorry, Mario. Yes, yes, it's all right. Enough talking. Bo, join the party! Like it or not! And I mispronounced Bo. Press C down to make her... Press C down to have her make you both become transparent so no one will notice you. While you're transparent, no, I'll just go right through you. But if you move and press C down, you won't be transparent anymore. You'll 
turn to guard. While in battle, she can slap enemy slowly with her smack attack. Very, very helpful attack right there. Or use out of sight to make you both transparent so you can elude enemy attacks. Also very helpful. Tubba blubba going down. Wahaha! Anyway, uh, it's kind of a shame we didn't really make a whole lot of progress on this part, except making a leap of faith right there. But anyway. Um... Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot done in this part, though, because, you know, all the talking in that cutscene taking up a lot longer time than I was hoping it would. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and test out Bo's ability right here. Make sure you're invisible. Yep, moving. Yep. Fairly simple. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and save the game right here, you know? Anyway, though, um, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button, give me a five star views. Download some of your parts if you like this one. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Sorry we didn't get a whole lot done in this part, but at least we got a new party member we can test out next part, alright? See you guys later.